Day 5 Mary help of Christians in her total trust and abandonment. If you follow her, you will not get lost. If you pray to her, you will not despair. If you think about her, you will not make a mistake. Supported by her, you will not fall. Protected by her, you will not fear. Guided by her, you will not get tired. Through her kindness, you will get there. In St. Bernard's words, we see Mary chosen by God as the dispenser of all graces. Carissimi, dear friends, the basis of true devotion to Mary lies at the beginning of our faith. When we receive the grace of baptism, we were immersed in the death and resurrection of Jesus. We belong to Jesus. We are consecrated to him through the yes that Mary said to God's work. Giving oneself to Jesus through the hands of Mary means imitating the gesture of the Heavenly Father who gave us His Son precisely through Mary and continues to dispense His graces through her. This consecration to Jesus through Mary is equivalent to placing our works in Mary's hands, recognizing her as an advocate and helper with Jesus, our mediator. We learn from Mama Margaret, who recommended Don Bosco to be all for Mary trusting her completely. When we give ourselves totally to Mary, stripping ourselves of all our possessions and worries, she responds with infinite generosity, giving us much more than we can imagine. This act of self-giving to Mary is also an exercise of charity towards our neighbor, as we make Mary the custodian of all that we are and do. It is a way of living our lives in complete dependence and entrustment to her, aware that she, as a helper, will never abandon us. A striking example of this total entrustment to Mary was given by St. John Paul II, whose Episcopal motto was Totus Tuus, all yours, indicating his complete consecration to Mary. He experienced this relationship with Mary as a full dependence on her, without which he could not have accomplished anything. His life has been an extraordinary example of how this devotion to Mary can profoundly influence the course of history. Let us, therefore, ask Mary, help of Christians, our Heavenly Mother, to assist and help us along our journey of faith, so that we can give ourselves to her with total trust and abandonment. Assalamu alaikum. God's peace and blessings be upon you. I am Al Ifrad Omar Lincoln, 22 years old. I'm from the province of Palawan in the Philippines. 
I am Gebramel Garay, 20 years old, from the province of Balabac, Palawan, Philippines. I studied at Don Bosco TVET, Mandaluyong. I am a migrant youth. The first thing I learned about Don Bosco was that he helped poor people. I come from a very poor family. We didn't even have money to allow us to study. In the province, it is really difficult. We are far from the city and we need to cross islands to get there. We struggle in transportation since we need to cross oceans. When I came to Don Bosco School, I joined the Penardi House residence. I studied technical vocational training and I lived at Don Bosco School. The Penardi House is the school's student residence. When I first arrived there, I was very self-conscious because of my religion. I'm a Muslim. There were 60 of us migrant students who lived there, and among them, only six of us were Muslim. As a Muslim, we were never treated differently from others. They treated us like family. They gave us time to perform our salah and prayer. Father Javi is always there making us feel that you are not apart from us, even if we have different religions. We really felt welcome. The Catholics also joined us Muslim students in our prayer. That is why I didn't think twice about entering a Catholic church. I joined them during the rosary and I also attended the Eucharistic adoration. Because of the rosary, I came to know more about Mary, help of Christians. And I'm so grateful because maybe it was through Mary's help that I was brought here to Don Bosco. I wholeheartedly thank all of those who helped me to reach my dream, to get to where I am today. I'm now a graduate from the Fitter Mechanics program, and praise be to God, I'm working and earning a living, and little by little, my dreams are all coming true. One of my dreams is to be able to help my parents financially, because of how difficult their life has always been. It has been such a great help after I graduated at Don Bosco as a general electrician because one of my dreams before was to graduate and secure a good job. Now I'm working and helping my parents. I'm now able to send them money and also support my little brother financially in his studies. Thank you very much, firstly to Don Bosco School where I was able to make my dreams come true to all Silesians who never got tired of helping us. Thank you to Don Bosco School and all the Silesians who continue what St. John Bosco started. Thank you very much. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Universal Church, powerful help of those who trust in you and live the totus tuus, through baptism, we have become sons and daughters of God the Father. Like you, we surrender our lives entirely to Him. Help us to seek the human virtues that you embody, to imitate those virtues that make you great in the eyes of God. Never abandon us, most tender mother. Assist us and accompany us on our journey of faith, especially when it is shaken by the trials of daily life. Trusting in your help, we place all our works in your hands, be our advocate and intercede for humanity with the Heavenly Father. Amen.